Hey Bulldogs, this is uh, Jeremy Fuel, Superintendent Clinton Central School Corporation. I uh, want to provide everybody with an update of the uh, new high school office and district office layout. Um, as you can see, I am facing west out of uh, doors W1 here at the high school. Uh, one thing I want to note uh, with the remodel is that these sets of doors right here are actually going to get pushed back to create a secured entrance. Uh, they will come back to uh, approximately right here and go all the way to the new office that's being framed in currently. Um, so these, like I said, these sets of doors here will be pushed back to the east a little bit uh, to create the secured entrance. So those doors will end up being approximately right in here. Um, this will be the new door. As you enter into the uh, high school office, um, as you step through the door, this will be, as you see, we got a, a big beam column there. Um, this will be the reception area, uh, about where that uh, construction table is at. There will be a desk for a reception area. There will be seating lined where you can see the windows have been framed in to see out into the hallway from the office, but there will be seating. Right in there, um, over here, obviously we're moving a couple of air handler pipes uh, right here, so we've got this dug up right now. Um, this area over here will be a conference room. You can see the doorway's notched out. Or sorry, this won't be a conference room. This will be a teacher work room uh, is what that will be. This area over here where all the HVAC materials are, this will be a conference room with two door access points into the conference room. Coming back over here to the lobby area, reception area, there is another door entrance exit point. So as students come in to the office, they will check in. They will come through this door out to the hallway. Uh, again, creating that secured entrance so that we can screen all visitors prior to them getting into the, with the rest of our student body. This doorway here goes into our nurse's office. So you can see the nurse's office is right off of the reception area, also right off the main doorway coming off of the uh, hallway. So our students can come in, immediately go to the nurse's station. Um, we have the reception area for the nurse's area. Uh, we have areas for beds and cots, and the, we have kind of have the wellness area here, sick area here with a restroom in the nurse's office as well. So we'll exit the nurse's office and go down the hallway. So as you're behind the reception area, uh, this area is a, the office workroom. Uh, so there'll be some cabinets and some countertop storage as well, as well as mailboxes for teachers and staff copier and all that kind of stuff. This will be the teacher or the, the office staff workroom. Okay, as you go down this hallway, we have a couple of rooms. We have an IDF closet for our technology towers. We'll be in here. We have to allot X number of square feet for that to be able to ventilate and cool. This is the records room. Uh, we have a lot of records that we have to store and finally cabinets and keep secured and maintained. Uh, that will go in this room. Uh, continue down the hallway. As we look back, to the south, again, there is that conference room area that will have two doors to be able to enter or exit from. This is the hallway down to the uh, administrative offices. So we have the assistant principal's office here. You can see the plywood are covering up where we're gonna be having uh, windows installed. Athletic director's office will be right here. And high school principal's office is here down this office or down this hallway is our guidance or student services area so we have four offices right here in this area so here's one we have one office here right across from we have another office we have another office here and another office here so for our counselors uh, our assistant athletic director uh, data personnel will be in there as well. Uh, we have two restrooms on the inside of the office area. There's one 
And there is two, two restrooms uh, for the office staff to be able to utilize uh, during the day. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this area right here, you see a door, doorway going into the hallway. So students that are coming to the guidance office will have a reception area for receptions to be here. Uh, seating will be here as well for uh, them to wait to, to be able to see a counselor uh, or a student services personnel. As we go out this hall, we, again, we have the doorway that goes into the high school office. So students that are going uh, to see the, whether it's principal, assistant principal, uh, nurse, they will be able to enter in through this door. If they need to go directly down to the uh, guidance offices, they can come down and they have another doorway to be able to enter in to see the counselors right here. Um, backtracking here, so we had two restrooms on the inside that, that staff members from inside the office can use. We also have two restrooms outside of the offices for staff members to use. So staff won't have to trek all the way through the office. They can come straight down this hallway, use their key to get into these restrooms. The restrooms will re remain locked during the day. Um, however, we will be able to open them up and there'll be ADA restrooms for events that are going on in the NPR uh, after school hours. This office here has direct hallway access. This is the, our Director of Student Services office. If you come on down this way, these doors are, our N2 doors are actually gonna be moved in to about here. And again, creating a secured entrance. So after school has started for the day, only people that are coming to the uh, district office will be able to come through doors N2. We'll have a secured entrance into the district office. They'll be able to be buzzed in here. We have a reception area, waiting area here. This space has not been divided up yet, but this will be split up into two offices for human resources and our corporation treasurer. They will be split into these. These offices will be divided up into two. Coming through here, this is the workroom for the district office in this area. All the wood blocking is for the cabinetry that's gonna be installed. Coming down the hallway, we have uh, two faculty restrooms in the district office as well. And then we have a superintendent's office in the back corner of the district office. Uh, this space uh, will be able to be utilized also for conferences during the day as well. Okay, so that is really what we got going on. So you see about 90% of the framing is done at this point. Um, we're waiting on some cleanup on underground work to be finished up. Um, and then they'll be able to finalize some of the framing. They've already started roughing in electrical boxes, you can see. They'll start running plumbing. They'll start running electrical as well. And uh, this, this space is really uh, coming together very, very quickly. So you can see the temp wall obviously is here for construction. That'll be gone, but this will all be opened up. Um, kind of looking, getting a view of the office from the hallway side. You'll see there'll be, there'll be windows to be able to see into the hallway, three windows right here on a diagonal and two on, two on the ends to be able to see into the office as well as for the office to be, be able to see out. Again, the most important feature that we have here is being able to create that secured entrance by relocating the interior set of doors so that all visitors will enter into the office prior to going on to the rest of our, our student body. So um, that's, that's a definitely a good thing for our student staff safety uh, moving forward. So, hey, I just want to be able to provide you guys with an update. Obviously, it's a little bit longer uh, than what we've had in previous weeks, but there's a lot to go through here. Um, if you guys have any questions about the building project, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I hope you guys have a great week and go Bulldogs.